Hi, very good evening, everybody. So uh, today we are starting with the introduction for freshers. This is the first time we are starting in SG Pharma. Uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, actually keeping in mind freshers the, who are, you know, they wanted to know about right from the scratch and wanted to know much more detail about the courses, like how the industry runs and what all things are there in that. So actually the thing is that why we have designed this program is uh, they don't have in depth in the syllabus what I have seen, I have noticed because generally I'm interacting with most of the B Pharma students. So they, I came to know that most of the things are lack, lacking. Like if I say the regulatory affairs department, so uh, there is a big question mark on their face and they say that, uh, what is that? So that is the reason I thought uh, when the people are, you know, having so much of gap, Still there, uh, you're doing B pharmacy, so they should have uh, some knowledge about the uh, industry and some knowledge about all the functions of the department, what all departments are there, how they are working. And basically, the second point is that why we have started this, to know what is there in the pharmaceutical industry. If they have a complete knowledge on this, so definitely they can, it will be easy for them to decide their career. So that's why we have designed this uh, uh, program and that's why we thought that a small uh, session will be there for freshers in which we will be clarifying all the doubts, whatever is there, let it be smaller or if they can, uh, you know, for an experienced candidate, definitely it must be looking like a, it's a silly thing, but definitely it, it makes a lot of difference because that doubt is carried forward for a freshers every time in their mind. So, and he is very much hesitant to ask, what is this, what, how can I ask in a group of uh, so many experienced candidates? So that hesitation, we don't uh, want them to carry forward. And that is one of the reasons where we have come up with this fresher session. And then we have, uh, you know, uh, get, get, getting up a small startup kind of a thing in which we have designed a 15 days course in which uh, it, it will be very much helpful for them to know and to decide their career, which department has a you know, good career for them. Or it will be easy for them to design because to know where they have to go or where they can you know, uh, enter into which department so that it will be easy for them to uh, decide their career. So for that, I have just, we have just uh, come up with a PPT form. I'll just... Uh, take you in a presentation mode and show you a few slides in which we can, you know, uh, get more detail like about the course, how we are designing. So we, before then that, I will just introduce myself and then we will start up. So this is a basically a certificate course in drug regulatory affairs, as I said, uh, for freshers and beginners in a pharma industry to know each and everything So this is a just a small introduction about myself. I'm Varsha Kakar here. I have got nearly about 17 years of experience in a pharmaceutical industry. Previously, I have worked in Park Davis, Dr. Eddy's Laboratories, then CIPLA, then Rosen Pharma, and then with clinical macro care, right? Then I have started my own setup like in Sci Pharma as a Sci Pharma consultant. Now I'm working as a freelancer in that particular field. And coming to the regulatory affairs department, I have filed a number of uh, filings coming to ANDA as well as for APIs in US, Europe and ROW market also. So this is a small introduction about myself. So in this, we will be covering a syllabus, what the freshers are looking for. We are basically targeting for a small basic things right from the beginning, right from the scratch, we have designed these studies. So we are giving the explanation from the basics, explanation regarding complete process, how the industry works right from the entry into the raw material and the difference between uh, many of the students when I start my course, in the mid of that, I have noticed that they ask me, ma'am, what is the difference between API and formulations? Then I realized, oh my God, I have completed so much and uh, still they are you know, lacking in this difference only. So that is the reason we have designed this course and that's why I wanted to stress each and every point, like clarifying each and every doubt. 
about the APIs and as well as formulations. Now coming to the different departments, as I said, we will be taking them to each department, telling them about the roles and responsibilities, like starting from quality assurance, quality control, regulatory affairs department, yes, and R&D, production, warehouse, microbiology, and environmental health and safety. So we have covered a small, small things also in which we can show how far the department is useful, how the industry runs, and how it is a collaboration of all the departments. And then you can, uh, you know, go forward, how the process is taken away. Right from the entering into the raw material till the material is dispatched into the market. So that is our basic idea. So we will be teaching or we will be training the candidates for each and every department like QA, QC, RA, production, uh, R&D, warehouse, microbiology, and EHS in depth. So they will not have any queries regarding this so that when they are going for a higher trainings or they are entering into the industries, they will have much more clarity on these departments. That is a basic idea where we want to stress. Now, again, we also wanted them to know regulatory, since the training is on regulatory, so we have also covered the regulatory requirements coming to US, Europe, and ROW markets. We have covered, like, what is USFDA and how it works, okay? Now, we have also, uh, after, you know, giving the details about each and every department, this is a second level where we want them to know what is DMF, then what is a regulatory authorities, what is European Medicinal Agency, then what type of submissions will be taking place in that, how the registration procedures will be there in ROW. Not even the regulatory, we have also covered the semi-regulated market also. Now, coming to the format, what they need to follow, how the you know preparation of the DMF will be done. Till that point, we are covering because this gives a basic idea whether we, they want to enter into this department or not. If it really sounds them interesting or not, that is the ideology. Now, coming to the types of modules in CTD, we have covered like M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5. All the modules are covered. You know, we will be telling what all things will be there in each module, then how it will be done in CTD format, then coming to the preparation of job interview, that would be the last part of the session. And then we will be telling about the how the job preparation is done, how you need to in, attend the interview, what will be the interview-based questions and how they need to design, how they need to attempt the question, how they need to manage it, how they need to answer the questions. So all these things are there. We will be covering, especially design for our freshers who, you know, I know when I was a fresher, I used to hesitate or I used to feel so scared, you know, for an attending interview. So that hesitation should not be there. When you will not have hesitation, when you have, you will have a complete knowledge about the subject or at least some basic knowledge about the industry then only they will not have this kind of hesitation. So this is an area where we want to stress and this is a, a thing where we want to highlight and wanted to know about each and everything. So that's what we wanted to you know, tell you. Uh, this is a just an, a demo class in which I wanted to introduce like how we have come up with the training session for freshers and we will be starting soon. The dates and everything will be informed to you soon. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, we want all the freshers who wanted to avail this opportunity, who wanted to uh, join this session, you can contact us and you can uh, take the opportunity to learn all these things. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.